Welcome back guys to another video. I'm so excited for today. I finally get to put my new rotors on and go and get my lifetime warranty brakes. Some new ones since these ones squeal a lot. Now I don't know if you guys know the brand that I'm about to say but I got it off of eBay for a really good price. They're called Brake Motive. It also came with all the brake pads. I just, you know, I'd rather use an AutoZone lifetime warranty brake pads instead of those. Uh, now, I don't know if any of you have heard of them. I didn't before my dad used them for his Corvette and his truck. But someone that I know on Instagram actually used them. He said they warped on him. So what I'm going to do is since he actually used the pads that they gave him, I'm going to be, you know, one, we drive differently. Two, I'm going to go and use the lifetime warranty ones that I know are good from uh, AutoZone. And then, like I said, we're going to be painting the calipers. And we're going to be doing that on the car. We're not going to be disconnecting the caliper, so we're going to be doing it inside the car. I'm going to be prepping it properly and painting it properly and definitely covering up literally my entire car and any other car that's in the garage, which I hope is none, because I have really bad experience with overspray. I've had that car already uh, wet sanded once because of overspray, and I'm not going over it again. And it wasn't because of me. It was because, uh, short story, I got rear-ended. They painted the bumper on the car instead of off of the car for some reason, and they left overspray all over the car, so we had to get that wet sanded and everything so to get into it we have 320 grit something very very rough so that way I can get the existing black paint that's on there that was already there off and then get some rust off we're gonna be using acetone to clean it off as well and then we're gonna go with Krylon high heat primer it goes up to 2000 heat and then I have three of these Daytona yellow VHT caliper uh, paint engine ceramic whatever it's the same thing it does high heat it'll last as long as you do it right because I think that this, this is going to make the entire car look entirely different. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. I'm going to go show you the rotors. I'm going to show you how the car looks now with the you know flaking of the black paint on the rotor, uh, the calipers and all the other stuff. Let's go because I'm really excited. I don't want to talk too much. Alrighty, so this is stock right here. I'm pretty sure that these rotors are stock straight from factory back in 2007 or wherever the whenever like this car was truly manufactured because we never changed the rotors I'm pretty sure the last owner never changed the rotors the only thing are painted calipers which I'm pretty sure my dad did now it's cool and all it looks sleek but since now I have an actual hint color I want something to pop out more out here and that's why I, you know got the color that I did and all the proper stuff so that way I can paint these get these, these rotors out for you guys I can't believe I almost Started going to do stuff without showing you guys the actual rotors. Now, I already opened it yesterday when they arrived. They look good. They feel good. Again, like I said, they're made specifically for my make and model and year. And they're drilled and slotted. Here's a better look. This one right here is the front passenger side. I'm not sure what side I'll start on, but, you know, it's really cool. I'm pretty sure most rotors tell you what side they go on. So make sure you put it on the right side. Oh, these things are going to freaking cool down so good like I don't beat the crap out of my car I don't stomp hella hard unless it's like people driving really slow or you know stupid traffics and all that and you're going at a high speed but you know it's just cool to have these it looks so nice and I really needed new rotors because like I said I'm pretty sure those are OEM Pretty sure this is OEM. It's fucking, it's, it's really gross. <sighs> Super worn down. And then here we go right here, you know? The brand new slotted and drilled. I am gonna be cleaning this with uh, brake cleaner before we actually install it. I just always see people do it. I'm pretty sure because like some sort of grease that they pay here for the, for the metal. And then right here we have the brake caliper with the old brake still in it but we have it propped up. I do wanna say, don't take this as a DIY or a how-to or this and that, because again, I've never done this. This is literally going to be my first time. So I'm still learning, even though, I've, like I said, I've watched a ton of videos and I know the steps, I know the precautions, I know what to do, but I've never done it before, so you never know. But I am gonna take my time, I am gonna do it right, and I'm gonna make sure that everything looks sick and looks clean. So again, do not take it as a how-to. Please don't follow any of the steps until like two, one month down the road where I give you guys an update how the brake caliper paint's doing, how the actual brake and rotors are doing, and all that sort of stuff. But I'm gonna get to it. Um, tie that down one more time, 
and start sanding that mother like a Never such an always with the same team I love my team All we, all we, all we know is get the cream, cream, yeah Hey, keep it down to earth like I'm one for it, yeah If I fall, I can fall once more Yes, I got that sauce if you're unsure Young wish, I'm the one that wanna come for She looking at my wrist like she checking for a pose, yeah So by the B-roll, you saw that I'm already close to being finished to getting all of like the super bad brake dust, the black paint, all of that stuff completely off. I am gonna go through again, maybe with uh, some sort of uh, compressed air to get everything out. Um, my brake pads actually look pretty good. I'll see if I can show you guys later, but I, maybe I'll go get new ones because th they're pretty fucking loud. So we'll see what we do. Um, I'm trying to be very careful with the brake sensor and of course the brake lines. That's why again, I have it um, tied up right here. But I mean, it's coming off really, really nicely. So a little update. I'm actually having a little trouble with the back 18 millimeter bolt that's back here. Um, all of our tools are a little too long and I don't have a smaller one so that way it doesn't hit uh, the control arm or whatever, I'm pretty sure that's the control arm or whatever the other one is called, but both rears are hitting that. The front ones are easy, uh, that's not in the way. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's literally hitting that right there. You see my finger, it's hitting that and I don't have one short enough to take off that 18 mil, but we have the top one off and we also have the T-bolt or whatever it's called right here off already so I just have to do that and then this one's already um, it's already sanded as well as you can see so with the help of my dad he was able to get the two back 18s that I was telling you off and I finished sanding them all down about to go through and clean them one last time with acetone and then we'll probably tape up the car so that way I can do the actual primer That's some real meat right there. Ain't no stretch here, buddy. Kind of want bigger too, just to fill up the back, and definitely bigger to fill up the front because it's still kind of uh, encaved. You know, did it pop out as much? Ugh. But I've had these tires for about a year and a half now, and there's like little to nowhere. So I definitely want bigger. Let me turn rest off right quick. So, the second I sprayed the first layer of primer, I seen all the overspray. And I went ahead and just did the other two. And then after that, I was like, screw that. We're gonna be taping it off. So I went ahead, threw tape around it, and this nice little plastic all over it where I saw every single thing of overspray went. And now we're extra protected. So I definitely do recommend, you know, trusting your gut and just taping off everything because overspray is a bitch. Talking down on me, you know you should just stop. Yeah, third eye open, I'm a man of many talents. Yeah, clear course on me, so you know the chalkers balance. Yeah, yeah. Palm mission, I can feel the green grinch. Never switching, always with the same team. I love my team. All we, all we, all we know is get the green green, yeah.
Here's an update on the color. On camera, it looks exactly what I want, but in person, it's a little lighter. But we're really close to being done. I just gotta do at least one more layer right here because this is a side that was more towards the plastic. So we're gonna try and fulfill that. Uh, but we're close to being done. We're gonna have to do that one tomorrow because I gotta let my dad pull the truck in. And I don't want it to be kept outside. We got dummies over here trying to rob people's cars. But, I mean, the color looks sick. They did darken up. I really thought it was gonna be super, super bright, but this is a lot darker than what, you know, majority of people use on their cars. Here's the front as well. See right here, this is, it's not this bright. I swear to God, <laughs> it's not that bright. But yeah, we're almost done. We're just letting it dry right now. All right guys, so it's the next day and I'm about to finish the passenger front and then we'll be completely done. So I'm not gonna show you yet, but the color is not what I really wanted. So it'll do for now. And then I'll do some more research. I'll try and find a company that actually makes a closer color to the actual steering wheel, which is a mustard yellow. And uh, we'll go over it, scuff these ones up. And since it's already, already yellow, that new color that I actually want will lay down so much easier since it's so much brighter and it's not, you know, it doesn't have to be primed again and all that other stuff. But I mean, for now it looks pretty sick. So I'm gonna get to work on this one. So right now we are finishing up I'm just tidying up the 18 mil. Do some touch-ups. Uh, for some reason, only a few areas weren't completely dried or something. Basically, all the build out, <laughs> all the build-up of the paint got squished down. So I gotta, you know, kind of scuff it up and then get to it. I gave it enough time to dry, but I guess not. So we're gonna be respraying that. You see all that overspray? That's exactly why I freaking taped off the car. But we're gonna be fixing that and. Uh, right here because it was sitting on something in it i guess again it wasn't fully dried but yeah and then we're gonna finish you know coating here so we can get up in there and anywhere that we missed where we couldn't hit with those angles that's why i really like really if you can take these calipers off and you know or yeah calipers off and you know how to bleed the brakes just take them off uh you can you know prep them better you'll be able to sand them down you'll be able to get primer wherever you need to uh, need it to be you'll be able to get paint wherever you need it to be so i just think it's a whole lot easier doing it off the car and then you could also do it somewhere where your car isn't so you don't have to worry about taping up but you know if you're doing it like me uh, just take your time. That's why I didn't rush it. I really thought I gave it enough time to dry, but I guess not. Uh, so after I respray it, I'll let it sit here. And I'm actually going to be respraying the, pass the, the passenger, the driver front side, because this is definitely a whole different color. I'm going to go maybe through all of them. I'm not too sure. I think the rest are pretty good, but this is definitely darker than the other side. So we're going to be respraying that as well. Safety, and that's just for my safety. Niggas wanna ball, but don't play.